Okay, everybody, this is Joseph Farrell again. This is part two of News and Views from the Nefarium for April 29th, Friday, 2011. And uh, I was commenting in the previous part about the Japanese bear bond scandal and some comments that I had received from all of you, as I knew I would, on Thursday's blog, probably again uh, on today's blog with the a bit about the documentation of the banks. Well, the other commentator that really came up with a very important piece of information was a, a gentleman by the name of Paulo Trapanese, one of my Facebook friends. And he pointed out that these bonds apparently actually originated during the Reagan era as kind of a satirical political commentary on the fact that the Reagan administration was running up these huge, for them, these huge deficits. And they were kind of a satirical political commentary on that, which squares very well with Mr. Aaron's comment that these bonds clearly had printed in his ability to, to bring them up non-negotiable. Well, I think this is very interesting because this clearly means that the bonds are counterfeit, at least the Kennedy bearer bonds are counterfeit, and that these Japanese gentlemen that were apprehended in this scandal were perhaps playing a bit of a joke. But what I find fascinating here is the implication that these things are connected to the Reagan era, to the massive expansion that took place under the Reagan administration, both administrations, of the American defense establishment. We saw really uh, the space shuttle fleet was just at the beginnings, and now we know that Reagan put in his diaries that somehow managed to get published a comment that the United States at the time that he was briefed had the ability to shuttle approximately 300 people on the basis of its shuttle capacity, which was way beyond anything our actual normal public space shuttle fleet even had the ability to do. That comment of Reagan in his diaries implied, for some people it implies for me, that there exists a secret off the books capacity, space capacity. But I find this, this whole idea of these bonds being issued at that time very interesting and that they would have been selected by these Japanese gentlemen as the obverse and reverse on these uh, alleged $1 billion Kennedy bearer bonds to be interesting in and of itself because, again, it's, to my mind, it's clearly sending some sort of message uh, I think this is this is a scenario that we have to boil it down to that that this whole scenario was designed to send some sort of message, and I don't rule out the possibility that these bonds, if they're fake, are indeed part of a facsimile of something that may have been covert and very real and issued secretly and kind of a parallel structure. We don't know. The thing that I find fascinating about Mr. Trapanese's comment here and, and the information that he's provided, and I think it's valuable, I think it's supremely valuable information, is if we look at the early media breaking the story of these bonds, one of the media organs that was following the story very carefully, if you can go back on the internet and check this out, was a news source called Asia News, all right? And if you dig long enough, you'll discover that Asia News was one of these early media outlets that was pushing the line that these bonds, if they were counterfeit, were such close approximations, so, so very finely executed counterfeits, that it was very difficult to distinguish them from the genuine article. Now, what I find interesting about that story, that take on this story being issued by Asia News is that Asia News in turn has strong Vatican backing. So let's look what we have. We have counterfeit bonds and an absurdly high denomination of a, a bond that never according to the U.S. Treasury existed that was circulated as a kind of a political satire according to the information of Mr. Trapanese during the Reagan administration being chosen as part of this counterfeit operation of bonds that resemble so closely the authentic original. So what gives here? Does the Vatican know something that the rest of us don't? I find that whole approach that Asia News took very curious because the only other media that was reporting the fact that these bonds were apparently so close to the authentic issue was the German media. And as far as I can tell, they, the German media may have shifted its story since then, but at the time they were promoting the idea that these bonds were, were quite legitimate. 
And that to me is very interesting. You've got a German pope, you've got the German media, you've got the Vatican backing all this. So friends, this is a really big story. And the purpose of my comments in this week-long series of blogs, I have another one planned for tomorrow, is was precisely to kick loose commentary, to kick loose um, speculation, and, and to get everybody's takes, because I don't think anybody has a good clue as to what's going on here and how it might or might not connect to the recent events in Japan, the recent political realignments in Asia, and so on and so forth. I suspect, my gut anyway, tells me that we're looking at a very, very big story and that no one really has figured it out that even the, the Vatican media, the German media, the Italian media, and everybody that's been writing about this story, all of us, I think, are, are kind of clueless as to what this really means. So I think this is a story we should all watch. We should all be willing to share our ideas and so on and so forth because somewhere out of that stew, I think, will be able, among us all, to connect the dots on this very important story. And if there's more in developments that any of you find out, please share them with me, share them with others that are interested in the story, because I think this is a really, really important story. Uh, one announcement before I leave uh, for this uh, news and views of the, from the Nefarium is I heard from Adventures Unlimited, and Grid of the Gods is at the printer. It should be out sometime in May. They're telling me the end of May. Uh, I suspect it may be a little sooner than that. So keep the dial right here, please, and I will let everybody know on my website and, and Facebook page when Grid of the Gods gets out. Um, I'm trying to finish up a cu uh, another couple of books right now, and uh, I'll let everybody know what those books are in due course. I've got a white paper I'm still working on on Breakaway Civilization for the members only area in the uh, on my website. I've got a couple more white papers planned. I hope to be able to get to those this week. So I'm super busy. I appreciate everybody's comments. Once again, you don't know what they mean to me. I, I really do thank you, especially those two gentlemen that shared that uh, two pieces of, of very crucial information. And uh, I want to thank everybody again for, for the prayers and support on the website, the donations and so on. Uh, the, the research I'm involved in right now is, is colossally expensive and uh, way beyond what way beyond what I had budgeted for for these two books. So I want to thank everybody again, and we will see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.